Hello YouTube! By popular request, today I'm going to be running Hoggy Q with Mighty Miner on ladder. The matchups I face are Pekka, Lava Loon, Drill Cycle, Mega Knight Bait and Miner Mortar. Timestamps are shown and are in the video description. Let's get right into it. So my opponent goes for a Goblin Drill first and I managed to catch it with a Mighty Miner. Um, at this point I don't know what his deck is. But, you know, as soon as he goes for Goblin Drill, I'm pretty sure that he'll go for it in the front. At least higher up, people basically always do that, because it's like a guaranteed way of getting damage. I decided to use my Mighty Miner ability and actually just go in on the right side, because I know that I can just use my Firecracker to kill his Night Witch really easily, and then it'll get extra value on, you know, whatever he plays. So I make sure to play my Firecracker in this placement, rough placement, so that it switches lanes, and then, you know, Firecracker is now dealing with his P.E.K.K.A. So I delay my skeleton, I'm just waiting till I have Elixir, and I go for this Ice Spirit knowing I can bait out his dash. Like, I was almost certain that he was going to use his um, Golden Knight dash. I pop the ability just to kill off the P.E.K.K.A. and then I know that Log plus uh, fire Firecracker fully kills it. Firecracker dies to the Cannoneer, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that's a difficulty in playing this matchup. I go for a firecracker and I'm hovering skeletons in case he plays something to snipe it but he just goes for arrows and so I know that I need to focus on defense before going in. Low tesla and then ice spirit and he goes for a goblin drill, again he plays it in the front which allows me to then catch it and that gives me really easy defense with then just you know a log at the end. Um, I have three card cycle now so that's important to keep in mind that even though my mighty miner is low HP I'm just going to go in for a hog rider um, you know whilst he's lower on elixir and also whilst uh, I know that I can guarantee some damage. Maybe I could have gone for the hog rider behind the mighty miner in hindsight but it's all good we're, we're up quite a bit of damage just got to have good defense. So I don't go for um, you know high skeletons because he could have gone for a bomber. He decides to go for Mother Witch, so first I let the Mother Witch lock onto the Tesla, then go for Skeletons, so that, you know, my uh, Skeletons don't become pigs. He goes for a Night Witch in the back, and again, I just need to focus on defense. So Evo Firecracker will take care of the left side, and uh, Mighty Mine will take care of the right side. We are going to have to tank a little bit of damage on the left, but it's not too much. Um, and it's really important that I'm paying attention and use my Mighty Miner ability. You only have one tank, and the, the advantage of the having that in this deck is that you have three card cycle. So you can see I'm already back to uh, my Firecracker. I probably could have gone for a Firecracker at the bridge, but I decided just to go for a log, and I played it a little bit more passively than maybe I could have. Um, I could have been a little bit more aggressive, I guess. But Firecracker in the back first, so that, you know, once he gets back to his arrows, he's either forced to arrows it, or, you know, I'm going to try my best to defend it. So I go for this Earthquake, um, he's forced to then, you know, Mother Witch snipe it, and even then that's not enough, because my Firecracker stays alive. Firecracker on the left should deal with basically everything. I knew he was going to arrows, and so I just went for my Mighty Miner early, and at the same time I go for this Hog Firecracker in the right lane. Huge amount of damage, and at this point we've basically won the game as long as we can defend this final push. Um, Tesla this time to predict his fire, uh, his Goblin Drill. Log, and you know, I can spell cycle him, so I first go for an Earthquake, right? And then I think he has to play a troop to defend my Hog Rider, so let's just go Hog Evo Firecracker, and that's GG's. I start the game off with a Firecracker in the back, but unfortunately goes for a Lava Hound in the opposite lane. So I go for a really early Hog Rider. Now this is a really important play. I go for this really early Hog Rider so that whatever troops he plays to snipe my Firecracker, in this case Bats, he has to play them so much later, allowing my Hog to get so much more damage. I play a delayed Tesla so that it would pull the Balloon away from the Lava Hound. Um, I Spirit and I'm just cycling back as quickly as I can back to another Firecracker because I know, you know, he's going to go for like some spell. Firecracker gets literally zero value. Um, and I guess I didn't actually need it, but I thought that I did. So I have to go for a Mighty Miner here. It tanks first, you know, a little bit of damage from the Inferno Dragon, but mainly, you know, it's used to kill all the Lava Pups. Go for, you know, the ability, and then I go for a Tesla. He goes for a last second zap to retarget my, um, retarget my tower, so I'm forced to then, you know, I, I didn't really need the Skeletons, but I played them anyway just to make sure the Miner died, and my tower would then retarget onto his uh, Inferno Dragon. So at this point we're up quite a bit of damage, but it's going to be a tough road ahead. I go for a Hog Rider again, just want to see what he's playing. Again, I'm not going for any crazy predictions with like, you know, Evo Firecracker at the bridge. It's too early in the game for that. And I need my, you know, Evo Firecracker for defense. So I just go for Log Ice Spirit and I'm like, 
Even if I take, you know, one or two barb hits, that's completely fine. I just have to make sure I can defend. He doesn't have barbarians in cycle, so I just go for a mighty miner at the bridge, forcing out his miner. And, you know, there's not really much I can do here. Um, I go for an Evo Firecracker now, and I'm just thinking, okay, I have to defend. Um, I go for a Tesla. He'll pu pull a balloon if he decides to play one. He goes Zap and Arrows. That's like, okay, I should go in opposite lane. He's low on Elixir. He then even uses his Evo Bat, which I think was a bad play. Um, because look, my Firecracker gets tons and tons of value. Tesla will deal with the Balloon and my Firecracker cleans up. Overall, things are looking pretty good. It's very unlikely that we're going to be able to keep health on our left side tower. And I know that he has Evo Barbs in Cycle, so there's no point in me going for a Hog Rider right now. So I'm like, okay, let me get 3 card Cycle down by playing my Mighty Miner. Firecracker, because I know he's going to Arrows, and now he just spent for, you know, Arrows and his Inferno Dragon. So that was a good time to go for a Hog, because he didn't have Elixir for his uh, Barbarians. I cycle to my Evo Firecracker, um, use my Mighty Miner ability to kill the Bats, and unfortunately his Miner kills my my Firecracker. So Hog Rider pulls stuff back a bit, and now you'll see this defense is just, just pulling everything, distracting, trying to cycle cards. I don't use my Tesla, because... I kind of need to save it for his Balloon. If I play it and it dies, how do I defend his Balloon? So again, I go for a Hog. I'm just tanking bits of damage. It's like, it's okay to take a bit of damage. You know, I just got to make sure that I don't mess up my cycle. Um, everything dies and thankfully I'm up tons of damage. And I'm thinking, okay, how can I get some... I'm going to go for my Hog Rider. I thought about this all beforehand. I go for a Hog Rider to force out his Barbarians. Now that he doesn't have Barbarians, he has no good way of dealing with Mighty Miner plus Ability. So I go for my Mighty Miner in the right lane. Of course, I'm cycling Firecrackers all at the same time. I use my Ability to go in the left lane, and I'm like, okay, please get me some damage. At the same time, I go for a Hog Rider, because he's again not back to another a set of Barbarians. And that Hog gets a crucial hit. All this time, my Firecrackers, look, I have three Firecrackers on the field, um, getting tons and tons of value. So, I go for Mighty Miner to tank for the Lava Pups, and I'm like, okay, I can just win this game with one Hog hit or just Spell Cycle. I just gotta defend. I manage to defend, he uses his Barbs, instantly go for a Hog Rider, and it's a good game. Really, really clutch game, actually a really instructive game, which I hope you guys can learn from. GG's. Split Wall Breakers at the bridge, so I go for Skeletons so that it would normally counter, but he somehow manages to zap um, all my Skeletons in time. And so I don't, uh, you know, I managed to, I have to take some damage on the right side after logging. I Spirit in the back, and, you know, I don't really know what he's playing, but the chances are already, once, especially after I've seen the Bomber, I'm pretty sure that he's running Drill Cycle. Um, I take Earthquake value, of course, on his Tesla, um, and, you know, he plays a really bad Valkyrie. He thought it would get King Tower, but since Cannoneer one-shots Firecrackers, he doesn't get anything. This, you know... Tesla placement outside of fireball range, and also, you know, it deals with the bomber in the right side, Valkyrie in the left side. Go for a Mighty Miner in the front, and I catch his Goblin Drill. And so I'm thinking, okay, um, how can I get damage here? Well, I can outcycle him. So I go for Skeletons in front because he's running Cannoneer, and then I go for a Hog Rider, and we manage to outcycle him. He goes for Guards up high, and so I pop my Mighty Miner ability so that it deals with it. Hog Rider on the right side is just completely destroying his tower. I have log in hand for his wall breakers and we're looking really good. We're down elixir, but if you play a firecracker five tiles from the bridge, it can deal with, you know, knights and valkyries, it'll kite it. So I do that and, you know, I go for an ice spirit just to tank the bomber hit and we take no extra damage. Basically, you know, perfect start to the game. He threw out a GG's earlier. Um, so he goes for a Goblin Drill. Instead of playing it in the front, he goes for it on the side, um, which is kind of smart, changing up the placement. I react a little bit slowly, um, but I go for this Prediction Log. I thought that Log would hit his Bomber, but I wasn't paying attention and I didn't realize he's not actually running Evo Bomber. But if he was running Evo Bomber, I think that would have been a decent play, just to knock back the Evo Bomber and reset it. But he's running Evo War Breakers, so I go for Mighty Miner and I go for an Ice Spirit. In hindsight, this wasn't the right play. I definitely should have just Earthquaked, but I don't know. I panicked a little bit and forgot how you're meant to defend Evo War Breakers. Um, goes for Goblin Drill on the right side. My Evo Firecracker is doing, you know, amazingly. Gets a massive hit onto his Goblin Drill, and then I just log and he cleans everything up. Still down a decent amount of, still up a decent amount of damage, and so I go for a Hog Rider, of course, to support my Evo Firecracker. Um, go for an Earthquake, and he goes for a Valkyrie, for no real reason. Um, you see how I know that he's going to go Warbreaker, so I go for a Tesla. Like, instead of going for, like, a Firecracker or something. 
um, I knew I had to spend my elixir on that Tesla. Again, Ice Spirit just resetting everything, Firecracker, Log. Um, again, that same kind of defense. And he messes up here. He goes for an early Tesla and it goes underground and so it doesn't pull my Hog Rider. Um, I made a video, a Tesla video, which I'll link on like the reason why this happens and like all the placements and stuff. But again, I'm just defending and, um, you know, trying my best not to lose. Um, early Log. Um, just to kill everything, Evo Skeletons, and he doesn't have a way, you know, he still has to defend these Evo Skeletons. So he goes for his Tesla to deal with it, and so I just Earthquake, and I'm thinking, okay, he doesn't have anything in hand. I know he's gonna go Evo Warbreakers, but first I go for a Hog Rider to pull back the Valkyrie and also get damage. Um, my Tesla tanks, and I go for everything possible just to try and defend. It's kind of at this point, if I can just not die and lose this game, lose my tower, I'll win the game with an Earthquake, and that's exactly what happens. GG's, really nice game, we outcycled him and outplayed him. I start the game off with an unfortunate log in the opposite lane to where he's going. He goes Goblin Gang at the bridge, so I'm forced to go Ice Spirit, Tank, and then uh, Firecracker just to deal with everything. Uh, once he's gone Bats in the back, I'm pretty sure this is already Mega Knight bait. And, you know, he goes for a Miner, and I managed to catch it um, with a Mighty Miner. I pop the abilities, so I keep some HP on my Mighty Miner. For a counter push and also it deals with the bats um, and the miner. So I go for a hog rider behind this and he goes for a bomber which is a little bit strange and then he also goes for a goblin gang. So already the way in which I'm going to break down how I defend this is I first go for an earthquake that deals with the whole goblin gang. Then firecracker is going to deal with the mega knight and also splash onto the bomber and then for any other bait cards that he plays whether it's spear goblins or in this case uh, skeleton barrel that's what I can use my log for. Um, we kind of just wait, wait, and then he goes for a miner in the left lane, so I just use skeletons, and then I just go for another hog rider. Go for a fi either firecracker at the bridge, because I was pretty sure he'd go for, like, bats or something. He actually goes for a mega knight, which is even better. My, you know, evo cracker is just destroying him. I, yeah, his evo bomber is just a really bad evo bomber, and so, you know, I'm like, okay, I can go in. Um, I thought he was going to go for bats, so I thought, okay, I'm going to use my Mighty Miner ability and, like, predict whatever he's going to play on my Evo Firecracker. But, you know, he doesn't play anything and it's just GG's. He gives up. Really easy, simple game. Skeletons then Hog Rider in the right lane so that, you know, the cannon hits the skeletons. He goes for Miner in the left side, which, you know, I just have to Ice Spirit. Get good log value and, you know, at this point, I'm thinking not much, to be honest. I have no real idea what he's playing. Zap, Bomber, Goblins, Miner is a bit of a strange combination. So I'm kind of just waiting it out and seeing. I go for a Mighty Miner in the back, um, just for three card cycle. And I'm kind of just looking at, you know, what does he want to play? Goes for a Mother Witch in the back and I don't Earthquake, I don't do anything crazy. I'm like, I'm just going to get a Firecracker on the field. We get a really nice and kind of lucky connection onto his little prince. It was a bad little prince at the bridge and I really don't know why he played it there. Um, I tried going for a Mighty Miner ability so that, you know, it would make the Mother Witch one shot to a f Firecracker, but don't get it down in time. Skeletons will deal with his Miner on the left. We just take Earthquake Valley onto his Mortar. And, you know, okay, he's playing Mortar Miner, so that's... I don't really know if that's good or bad at this point, because it kind of depends on what other support cards he has. Um, strange Goblins at the bridge. I, I think people just don't know Firecracker dies to a Cannoneer. Uh, this keeps happening, but I go for, you know, Firecracker at the bridge trying to kill something that he would play for my hog and he goes for Minion Horde, which caught me by surprise, so I'm forced to go Skeletons high to then, you know, kite the minions to the opposite lane and I was thinking he's going to use his Mighty, his Little Prince ability, so I go for my Mighty Miner on the left and use my ability so that if he used his Little Prince ability, then it would lock onto my Mighty Miner. He goes uh, Bomber at the bridge, or either Bomber at the bridge, I go Ice Spirit plus Log, and really bad set of goblins. Um, and the net result is that I, you know, I still have a mighty miner on the field that he has to deal with. This time I don't mess up the death, you know, getting the death bomb, but I mess up my earthquake. The death bomb pushes the um, mother witch over to the left lane, so my earthquake hits nothing. Um, so I go for a Tesla. It deals with the mother witch and also just blocks the lane. You know, he goes little prince into it, which probably wasn't the right play. Um, and just, you know, it kind of stops him from going too aggressive. He goes minor, which will just get dealt with with skeletons. Hog in the right lane, gets countered by uh, the mortar. Kind of a late zap by him, but you can see how that Tesla got a lot of late value onto his uh, little prince. I was ready for him to use his little prince ability, I was kind of just waiting for it. 
And so I just go for a hog rider um, immediately once, you know, everything's dealt with the log. He was very aggressive, which is kind of unnecessary. Evo Firecracker gets, you know, really nice value here onto his bomber. And I'm just thinking he has misplaced his mortar by a tile. So let's just go in for a hog. Um, he goes in for his minion horde. So that obviously just gets dealt with really easily by the by a firecracker. And at this point, it's almost GG's. I just have to make sure I don't choke. So I go for a Tesla to try and snipe his Evo Bomber, but he quite um, smartly protects it with Prediction Goblins. But at the same time, he spent so much Elixir that I went for a Hog in the right lane and he had no Elixir to defend. GG's and, you know, we end up our pushing session at 2100, which is top, what is it? Top 3000 in the world. So pretty good. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.